Thank you, Madam President. Members and guests, before we go into prayer, I just wanted to say a little something about National Day of Prayer. Most of us might uh, recognize uh, and know that today is the day, but National Day of Prayer is a vital part of our heritage since the first call to prayer in 1775 when the Continental Congress asked the colonies to pray for wisdom in forming a nation. The call to prayer has continued through our history, including President Lincoln's proclamation of a day of humiliation, fasting, and prayer in 1863. In 1952, a joint resolution by Congress signed by President Truman declared an annual National Day of Prayer. And in 1988, the law was amended and signed by President Reagan, permanently setting the day as the first Thursday of every May. And now we're approaching nearly 70 years as, an, as we celebrate National Day of Prayer. Please join me now in prayer. Father God, we come before you with humble and grateful hearts, thankful for the gift of this beautiful day. It is with gratefulness and confidence that we bow our heads and hearts before you, knowing that you hear our prayers, both spoken and unspoken. We pray for our great nation. You have blessed this country immensely. May we continue to be a people of prayer, seeking your wisdom, guidance, and direction in all things. We lift up our military, law enforcement, and first responders, those on the front lines risking their lives to protect ours. We pray for our health professionals, those who go above and beyond taking care of the sick and afflicted, bringing relief, healing, and restored health. Father, we pray for our leaders across the country, for those who serve at the national level, our governors, those of us who serve in state legislatures and other state positions, and for those who serve in their local communities. Fill us all with your discernment, your wisdom, and compassion. Help us to see what you see in others. Help us hear the hearts of those we serve as you do. Please grant us understanding as we serve with one another. There are serious and impactful issues we debate in these chambers. Passions run strong and debate can get heated at times, but let us always be mindful that although we differ, we may differ in the way uh, we achieve an outcome or solve a problem, each of us are here to improve the lives of others. Let us be respectful in that dialogue setting an example that honors you above all else. We lift up our families, our loved ones who support us, who go that extra mile and make our serving here possible. Your word tells us that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank you for providing the way for all people to find peace, hope, and salvation in you. Lord, pour out your love, life, and liberty in our lives and throughout our nation. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.